fun. Hey, what is up, guys? This is John from Magic Tech Review. And in tonight's video, we're going to be talking about Cricket Wireless. We're going to be talking about... Uh-oh. Maybe Lord John doesn't want me to talk about Cricket Wireless. But, Lord have mercy. You guys take over. Wow. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mill Hustles, and I'm back with another video. Taking over John's channel. You know what I'm saying? Lady Red, do your intro. Lady Red here. Um, I am Lady Red of Lady Red's Big Fat Life and Lady Red's Day Job, and I am here with y'all tonight. How you doing, fellas? Doing good. Uh, just go live talking about crickets, iPhone deals coming up, speculating. We don't know for sure, but yeah. Yeah, the last I heard, it was not going to be anything new. And that is kind of sad because they're getting, they're dumping out, you know, they're dumping the warehouse with the six line. All of the sixes are going, the SEs are going, and the Xs are no more. But Cricket has not adjusted anything. Nothing. Yeah, and I doubt they will, to be quite honest. Yeah, I don't really see much. Um, once, a couple of months ago, I think they put the iPhone 6 on sale for about two days. And then they jacked it right back up again. So, hmm, that's cricket for you. We hate what they do, but we love them at the same time. I know, right? I mean, they they have so much potential, and and still, it's just like um, unrealized. Like they're not, you know, Metro is really challenging cricket right now. With they've got some great deals, and cricket's just like meh. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't know what they're. I mean, AT and T is a smart company. I'm sure not, they're not losing that bad as far as them go. Oh, but no. the issue I have is with the what's what about the dealers? Um, with us, because you know I work for an authorized retailer, we kind of make our own rules to a point. Um, our commissions, we kind you know, they each individual owner, like my boss made up the commission and it's different from store to store. And, um, you know, our rules, like I can waive activation. I waive more activation than I'm charging now just to get the activation because people don't have, you know, they're coming in for a free phone. They may not, and chances are, do not have an extra 25 bucks. They've got enough because they've come in ahead of time or they've called me to get the prices and they know exactly how much money they need and that's how much they bring in the store. They don't bring, and if you tell them an activation fee, they're holding, they're going back down the street and getting a straight talk refill card. And like I have said many times, and I'm not saying this because I work for the company, but honestly, the only people right now com competing with Metro PCS is straight talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More than any other track phone brand, because first off they're in Walmart People and people don't, they just won't leave straight talk. Like I've every, almost everybody that I speak to has been with them 10 years, 11 years. The people are loyal if you give them a good deal. And straight talk does not give anybody free phones or porting deals. And straight talk, the thing, what, what is really boosting us, like my store, they're right. Okay. And my store is leading, and me and uh, Jesse, the girl that's in some of my videos, we take turns as number one and number two in the whole corporation for activation sales, cricket protect, and all of the categories. Because Straight Talk is the biggest one here, and they don't offer multi line deals. We're coming in, you know, people are coming in activating five lines, six lines at a time. I've got people activating for entire businesses. There's uh, two. Uh, towing companies and all the shops and then a couple others they want their, they have on call employees and they give them a phone and they're coming in and they're getting like the fortune two or the cruise and um, putting them on a multi-line plan and saving a lot of money that way but here, you know, Metro doesn't really work here I was talking to somebody tonight at the laundromat he's got T-Mobile and he barely gets the signal I need to come tomorrow to activate CV10. What's up? Not a whole lot. What's going on, bro? 
Uh, I fix uh, fixing go uh, fixing go live actually. Oh, guess what, man? Can you hear me, brother? Yeah, I can hear you. P twenty light is on the way. I right, got it, huh? Yeah, man, it's on sale for like two forty nine, which is like ten dollars off. <laughs> That's a good deal. Yeah. I had a, lady, a Mennonite lady come in about a month ago and she had a P20 light and I set it up for her. She's getting ready to go on a mission trip to the Philippines. And that was one of them that would work over there. And she was just going to go ahead and activate it with us and then get, you know, another SIM card when she got over there. And it was, I, I didn't want to give it back to her. It looked like a nice little device. Oh, it is. It's a beautiful device. It's well, like, it's it was go ahead, bro. Well, if it's well, if it's if it's about Huawei or best if it's about honor, it's always a good device. Oh yeah. So me and uh, Lady Red were talking about cricket, um, how they need to kind of do a little better with their deals. Um, but we were also having that conversation that you and I had that friendly debate about of uh, how Metro's main competitor right now is Straight Talk. Mm-hmm. And Straight Talk doesn't give anybody free phones or porting deals. Nope. And they still get tons and tons of sales. And then right after Metro is Walmart Family Mobile. Those are TrackPhone's top two brands. See, I have two hey. from Family Mobile. There, I have more and more coming in from Total Wireless um, just because they want unlimited and they can't get it with Total Wireless. Uh, but that's yeah. Total wireless is good for folks that don't need unlimited data. Mm -hmm. um, and also they have that $25 plan, which is no data at all. You know, they can get themselves a flip phone or bring their own one from Verizon. And that's it. Good coverage, talk, text, and you're set. No contract or anything. In my opinion, Total Wireless is, is boss. If, yeah. if only if, if if only they if, if only they offered unlimited data, they would be boss of boss. Yeah, absolutely. I wish they at least offered a higher data plan, like you know, six gigs, thirty five bucks. Uh, well, four. you can, you can. If 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 you buy the top up card from Walmart, you get the five plus one. Yeah, but I mean, like, what if they had like a forty five dollar plan and they gave you, I don't know, fifteen gigs or something. You know, you know, you figure them being just like straight talk, they would have a 35, five gigabyte plan, 45, 15 gigabyte plan, 55 unlimited plan, just like straight talk. You're right. Because I would say screw all the other carriers and I would be with total wireless only. Uh, that'd be that'd be all I'd have. Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry about the confusion. When I first started, little John just got wild on me. Uh, sometimes he does that, so he wanted his chicken nuggets. I'm cooking them right now. Uh, hello to everybody in the chat. What's up, CV Tech? Good to see you on here, dude. Uh, you're gonna go live here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm fixing the setup. Whenever I got the, I was actually on, I was actually on another, on, on another call. Mm -hmm. when I got your uh, invite, and I was fixing the setup. That, that's what I was. I was telling uh, Mill Hustles and Lady T Lady Red that I had a feeling that you was about to go live. But I was like, yeah, let me send this invite. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? I had this feeling that you're about to go live. Like, so. Yeah, I haven't been live since Saturday. So I haven't even put out a video since Saturday. Ooh, yeah. yeah so you definitely need to go live. Yeah. Um, and, and honestly, the title of my video tonight is something that I'm, I'm a little iffy about. I don't know what to do. Uh-oh. Let's do it, man. Well, it's not, it's not very good. So... Oh, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, um, everybody, go check out CV Tech's live stream here in just a little bit. Uh, what are we at? Twelve thirty. So you want to do for about five ten minutes, and then you can go live, bro. Uh, it don't. It don't matter. It's cool. Uh, I can do live whenever. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Uh, what have y'all discussed so far about the cricket uh, iPhones and all that? And have y'all even touched about that yet? We we have, but we've really been talking about who Metro's, how Metro's dominating prepaid right now, and who's their competitors. And we went back to straight talk. So 
so so, so I, 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 I don't I don't mean to cut you off. But so what 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 is the deal with with Metro and their new iPhone specials? So I put a video out a little earlier, and y'all in the audience that haven't seen it, go check it out on my channel. They're offering two hundred bucks off with Porton on both devices. Um, and all the current flagship they have, like the iPhone 10 is going down a hundred bucks and the six S and the SE will remain at the same. Oh, uh, they're wanting to kill off the, uh, the, the lower ones, huh? Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to get rid of that whole six line, the SEs, all of those. And it's just looking like they're dumping the warehouse, but Cricket's not responding. I mean, that would be the time because everybody comes in wanting the six and, you know, they're still paying 200 bucks out the door for it. And honestly, if they're doing that, they need to come down at least down to 150, you know, and then come down to 100 for the SE or something. But since, you know, Metro's, I think of what hurts Metro only is limited coverage because they don't have as widespread coverage. As cricket because we're bouncing off AT and T. Straight top bounces off of Verizon or AT and T, and Metro is on T Mobile. And just from hearing what my people are telling me, their coverage is limited. And well, that- well, I know that I know when I done that last stream the other night. You know, I was driving through North Carolina, parts of South Carolina, and I was surprisingly losing service a lot. Um, uh, on Verizon, I was losing service as much as I was on AT and T, uh, and T Mobile was just crap. I, I, no, no other way to put it, it was crap. Um, you know, on better SIM, I mean, most of my look at my phone, it would say one bar, it wouldn't even call out, and uh, that was in the middle. I was in I was in the middle of the main town. Um, Verizon, I was. I mean, I know I was going through going through some strong wind some strong rain that may have that may have affected it about that much but i mean seriously i mean i was going through main parts of town main parts where verizon was just dying at&t was dying and so you know i mean there's no perfect carrier no and then um like we have said before if you're in an area like i promise if i if i got strong metro coverage and i have metro coverage at my house it's just not very strong it's better than where i used to live but if i had strong coverage at least three to five consistent lte bars they would be my carrier they would well, me too i mean if if t-mobile would put, would, put, would, would put coverage where i live i would I, I would be uh i would i would i would use better sim only i wouldn't use total i would use better sim because because better sim is T-Mobile at a much cheaper rate? I mean, I'm getting the same. I'm getting every. I'm get. I'm getting the front. The front lines of T-Mobile with better SIM. I'm not getting like these other carriers like Metro, Simple Mobile, all these who are not utilizing every T-Mobile tower, as well as not being and as well as they're not is they're not being able to use their partner coverage with better SIM. I can use T-Mobile partner coverage. I can use and I get all of their towers. So for thirty eight bucks a month, unlimited everything. So if they had coverage in my immediate area where I was pulling, you know, thirty forty megs easy, um, then that would be my that would be the carrier. I would get rid of everything else and go with uh go with st- stick with better SIM for thirty eight bucks a month, save some money instead of having to instead of having to pay for total wireless, having to pay for better SIM and um, NetBuddy. I still ain't I still ain't get, I still ain't I still I still ain't being charged for NetBuddy. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. Um, you know, cause that's what I use, cause that's what I use at my house for my Xbox and everything else is, is net buddy. Um, so, so if T-Mobile had the coverage, man, I, that's who I'll be with. It will be T-Mobile cause T-Mobile. I mean, even a lot of phones you get internationally from China or whatever, they may not cover all the bands, but, but they do at least cover one or two bands of LTE on T-Mobile network, either two and four. I, I mean, honestly, if T-Mobile covers two and four everywhere I travel, I'm on band two or four. So, that, you know, that's all good for me. All right. Well, hey, uh, man, I really want to know what you're about to go live about, bro. I'm really interested. So, Well, well I mean, it, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a video. 
And I'm not I'm not watching the comments, y'all, right now, because right now I'm not watching the comments. So if everybody's saying hello, hello to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, it's something that could possibly happen in the future. Um, but it's not certain. And I will be explaining all of that, you know. And also, I know I, I want to hit on all of this, you know, all of this manufacturer garbage going on. You know, I mean, everybody, you know, you know, I mean, you would think that everybody's being paid by these manufacturers to to defend them, and starting to get a little, you know, it's it's kind of childish. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, I feel you. And there's trolls, and there's people that just love, you know, love the devices, and they'll die for them. Like I, I, I think yeah. some people would jump on the sword for for a certain <laughs> company when they won't even. They won't even give a second. I mean, I mean, whatever. You know, I'll leave that for you. You, you know, know I, I, I mean, right now with Samsung, I mean, if you say anything bad about a Samsung Note 9, oh my goodness, you're under the bus. But it's when it comes down to it, at the, at the, at the end of the day, use what you want to use. You know, who cares if somebody trashes your phone? It's just words and it's, it's just a phone. I mean, when I mean, when did I mean, when did phone spark feuds? I mean, I mean, have we be, have has everybody have we have we all came so so soft that we can't even you know, discuss phones without everybody getting triggered? Man, some people they get just I, I don't know I don't know what it is with teenagers and, <laughs> and they'll come in the store with their phone that is locked to a carrier, usually straight talk. And the phone is like almost in pieces because they're teenagers and they don't take care of them, but they will not give them up. And they, I've had, I've seen so many tears shed because, you know, their parents are telling them, no, we're not going to spend because the, if they're going to get an iPhone, they have to have the seven or they have to have the eight plus. Nobody's, you know, these, these parents are not going to spend, you know, six to eight hundred dollars to, you know, make their kids happy. They're like, no, you're going to get the free phone and shut up about it. Or you're not get a phone at all. <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, you know, with, with a lot of people today, I, I mean, I want to cover all of this as well, but I, I, I got a feeling that probably 75% uh, of, of all of this high end phone stuff is just bragging rights. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, all it is. Teenagers are not running businesses from their phones. I mean, if you like, I've had a lot of customers come in and they need an iPhone because they have a business and everything in their business is Mac. We've got the newspaper people, you know, for the local newspaper as our customers because we do have a, you know, they can get like the iPhone seven for five forty nine. Verizon has it here for it's still over seven hundred here, and they'll come in and get that because all of their computers, everything they're doing is running from running off of an Apple product. And, you know, that's one thing, but a teenager that just has to have an iPhone to do her little snapping, snapping, chatting, Instagram with, <laughs> you know, that's ridiculous. That's it is. Ridiculous. It, it is. And I mean, everybody's, everybody's thinking that you got to have a thousand dollar, fifteen dollar phone. To, I mean, if you run a YouTube channel, everybody thinks you got to, you got to have a, you got to have a thousand dollar phone to run it. I run my whole YouTube channel from a $200 idle five S from Alcatel. I run it from I run it from my essential phone, and I run it just fine. I run it from my iPhone SE, easy. I started mine with the LG uh, Rizio two, and then I went up to the Blade X, and now I've got my Supra and my tablet. I do most of my production now. Um, on my, I'll record it with my Supra, produce it on my tablet, and then upload it from the tab, and it's working out really good that way because. Um, I'm I'm able to do more with the tablet because it's bigger and I can just I can see better I can kind of play with it a little more I figured out how to put in music I'm using power direct and yeah I, that's what I use yeah I mean yeah I mean, I, yeah, I I mean like I'm paying I'm paying every three months subscription for Power Director now I I will admit I do like using iMovie better for, for from iPhone because it seems to be a more seamless smoothest experience. But I, but Power Director, I use the crap out of it. I mean, I'm paying ten bucks every three months for for full access to Power Director, and I run it from Essential. I run it from the Alcatel. I run it from you know other Android phones that I have. And honestly, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've I've, I've had people tell me before <laughs> that I will never ever make it because I don't have a flagship phone. 
you don't need one. That's just like there was um I put the video up with the gaming video that I put up the other day, you know, and I was comparing the Super Nintendo <laughs> Seven. And someone commented, um, and it was in regards to using a flagship phone with all this, you know, 500, the Note 9 with 512 gigabytes of storage. I set one up. It's a very nice phone. A customer. Oh, phone. yeah. He's over to Cricket. He's running a business, you know, with his phone and requires that sort, you know, he needs that mm -hmm. device. Um, and, you know, they, they, he already had a 14 hand. And that's a great phone, but it's not necessary just to play a game. I mean, you, I do gaming just fine on my Supra. And yeah. I don't see, you know, I tried out several different games before I decided on Darkness Rises, and none of them had any loading problems, any gl glitching problems. You know, there wasn't anything like that good graphics. I just didn't like the games. Yeah, I actually downloaded that Darkness Rises. Everybody, everybody was talking about, and I played. I played it on my shock, my, my my little shock phone. It played great. Um, you know, and you know, I want to be doing that in gaming tests from now on. I want to add that game. I want to add that game in there because I mean, the graphics are great. The graphics are awesome. Oh yeah, definitely. And you know, and it, it's kind of exciting to it's kind of exciting to play. But you know, yeah, the Galaxy Note Nine, the iPhone. Now, the, now the iPhones to me are just are just a joke, in my opinion. I don't care. They're, to me, they're a joke. I mean, yeah, they're, are they powerful? Yes. Are they worth one thousand four hundred dollars for the for, for the for the ten S Max five twenty gigabyte? I, no, it's not. I mean, data data extra data does not cost two hundred dollars. I'm sorry, it don't cost it. Lady Red, when are you getting an iPhone SE? Never. Why not? Oh, the iPhone SC is boss. Okay. I'm not. I mean, I don't like the iPhones anyway, but I've, you know, I'm because I'm setting up phones all the time anyway, and, you know, doing different stuff with them at work. And the SE is just too small for me. I have the hardest time even signing one onto our Wi Fi to do a contact transfer. And mm -hmm. I think that because the, it's, the keyboard is so small. Like, I have I mean, these are my hand big. I, I don't. I don't know if I've got big clunky fingers, but it kind of feels like I do. There's a cat eating them right now. Stop it! Stop it! And it, it's hard for me to hit the keys. Like I have to sometimes go get like we've got pins that have the little stylus thing on the end, and I'll have to get that sometimes because I just cannot hit the keys right. They're too small. I have my keyboard. I've got the G board on my Supra and on my tablet and on every phone I have. I have the G board now, and I make the, the keyboard like huge. Oh yeah, have, G board's the best, in my opinion. I have G board on my Note Nine. Yeah, G board. You, you can't beat G board. LG keyboard. I don't like. I can't. Stand, I don't like the Samsung keyboard. And I hate when you get a phone that has that that awful. What is it? Touch. Um, Touch pal. Touch the pal. ZTEs oh my have. goodness. The ZTEs come with the touch pal. It used to, I used touch pal years ago and it was fine. And then it, it just more and more, every time it updated, it was more heavily ad supported. It was lagging my whole phone. And I had, I had, I took it out and I will not put it back in another phone. I think I actually featured that in a video, did not put that in your phone. And yeah. And the, there's also another one. I can't remember the name of it that comes on. These used to come on some phones. Like okay, it's, Kika? I can't, huh? Kika? No, the I can't keyboard, remember the name of it. There's um, the Go SMS Pro keyboard. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I mean the keyboard that's factory installed, but it, it, because because you got the Samsung keyboard, LG keyboard, the stock, the more stock ones come with Gboard, you know, which is the best one in the market, in my opinion, and then you got th that. Touch pal, whatever. That's, that's the crappiest one in, the, in my opinion. And then there was another one. I think Swift Key. I haven't seen swipe, that. swipe. Somebody said swipe. Tap out King. Well, well, there's Swift Key. Swift Key is not any good either, in my opinion. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, I, I mean, if you can afford it, if I mean. Like I say, I, I mean, I don't want anybody to think that I'm like, well, if you got a flagship phone, then you're blah, blah, blah. No, I would never say that. I would, I mean, I get crap because I, I use budget phones. But I'm like, well, I, I, I don't bash you because you use a flagship phone. I no, mean, I just I just ordered the P20 Lite, like I said, my first yes. phone in a couple of weeks. And 
uh, when I start doing comparison videos, people are going to see this phone is only two hundred and seventy dollars, but it's Huawei Honor, so it's going to do stuff that flagship phones can do. Yeah, and and I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, if you went and bought a uh, Huawei P twenty Pro. I would be mad jealous. If you, oh no, I didn't but, get the pro. I'm sorry, it's the no, light. No, 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 no. I know it's the light, but I'm saying if you sit there and told me you bought the P20 Pro, I would be like mad jealous. But I would be like, hey man, good going. You know what I'm saying? But how about that P20 Pro, bro? Oh, get, I, I still want it, man. I, I still want it so bad. Look, man, I want that one. I want the new Honor 8X Max. Have you heard about that one? The seven inch display, dude. I, I don't know about all that. But the specs, man. The specs. Yeah. And the then specs. it's gonna have it's gonna look like a giant essential phone, essentially. No pun intended. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could deal with that for the price. It's gonna be around the seven X prices. That's what the conversions are saying. Wow. So, That's not bad at all. Stop, stop. Sorry. This cat has bit me bloody. But yeah, I mean you know, and th that's kind of what I wanted to t hit on the night when I go live is about all this, you know, all these wars about, you know, more, you know, about Samsung and Apple and all this other stuff, whatever. I mean, I'm just going to give my thoughts on it. I mean, if people don't like it, they don't like it. I mean, you know, I try to be real with everybody and give my, and, and, and like I said, like I always say, my opinions are my opinions. Everybody's got an opinion. So, I mean, you know. Oh, what I was going to, I have heard a rumor. Um, my ISC came in, and this has been probably a month ago. And um, we were talking, you know, because he was asking about local competition and all that. And I told him, because uh, straight talk, you can use unlimited hotspot. And this was before Cricket started sapping everybody with an unlocked phone using hotspot. And because um, that's what we're hearing a lot with a hotspot is, well, I have unlimited with straight talk and ours is, you know, a little bitty 10 gigs. And mm -hmm. so my ISC comes in and I was telling him about this and he said it is where I said cricket needs to do something because I think Metro had just introduced um, or announced something about doing an unlimited hotspot. And I was like, you know, we need to we need to do that because I'm hearing a lot of bad stuff about ours. And he said it was that they were discussing it that, you know, they were talking about um, doing an unlimited or at least expanding hotspot. And then um, about a week ago, we heard that they are considering adding it into the unlimited plan and making a new unlimited plan that included unlimited hotspot. Now, stra now, straight talk does not give you hotspot. Does oh, no. not. If you use hotspot on straight talk without permission, you will get okay. They do sell a hotspot though. Yeah, they sell a hotspot device and hotspot plans, but they're garbage. Um, but if you use your phone as a hotspot, it's not included, and you will eventually get terminated on straight talk. Oh wow, I guess I'm telling people that because I had one girl come in and she said that's the only thing they use, and like she had a tablet or something and a couple of old phones that her kids were watching cartoons and stuff on. And she showed me she had over 300 gigs of hotspot use in two weeks. Oh my God. So she's, she, well, one day she'll wake up with, um, and her phone will not be ringing and she won't be calling out and she'll be terminated and she'll lose her phone number probably because total wireless straight out is good for that. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that, that, that's a no, no. I mean, that's in the, that's in the fine print hotspot is not included and you will be you will be terminated and i don't think that they're going to warn you like cricket warns you cricket will warn you total wireless straight talk i don't believe they're going to warn you they'll probably just zap your service that's going to be the end of it but yeah that's that's been the whole thing um the last couple of weeks with the hotspot because ours is so very limited. Honestly, I'm giving everybody. I'm I rotated uh, the links and the promo codes. Um, that's why I, I've got it. I make sure I've got everybody's promo code. And me and Jesse are both telling everybody about NetBuddy. And because I mean, we they're pushing this direct TV stuff on us, and everybody is wanting to get away from the cable company. And we're telling them get NetBuddy, then come back in and get direct TV. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that anybody has uh, used my used my referral link and promo code. I know for a fact people have used mine, yeah, a hundred percent. But 
but I have they're not registering for some reason. Yes, yeah, weird. Know, in fact, yeah. because they've bought it in front of me. Well, Jesse um, is waiting. She hasn't ordered the SIM card yet. She was waiting on the device. And because I was telling her uh, what Mill Hustles tell me about getting it from Walmart.com for like five bucks or something. And the SIM card? Was, yeah. The device itself it. is the yeah. ZTE the, uh, velocity. Yeah, you need that. Oh, that's hard to find in store. But if you find it in stores, it's only $15. This if you can find it, the one on, she was looking at the one on NetBuddy that'll do like I think what was it like um, a gigabit, a G instead of a megabit, a gigabit or something. I don't know. She showed it to me and I don't remember, but it was the fastest one because they do a lot of gaming. They've got four game consoles, a laptop, a half a dozen phones, and now she's got her. She's got a tab too, same one I've got, and um, they're wanting something that'll push all four game consoles at one time. Well, I have then showed everybody in my NetBuddy review that I've used over 600 gigs on NetBuddy, and I'm not experienced a lick of trouble. Because because on the site it specifically says no no caps, no throttling, um, and um, you know, it, I mean, I've never experienced any problems with NetBuddy. I mean, there's times. My hotspot will it, it'll just stop putting out signal or something, and I got to restart it and get it work again. But that's not NetBuddy. That's not AT and T. That's just I guess the I guess the hotspot itself. I don't know, but um, I've not had any issues. And I, I mean, I I got it on my Xbox, and I'm I, and I use it all the time. It works good. I mean, yeah, my speeds, my speeds at my house, I can go between four down and twenty down. It depends on it depends on the way the, the way the wind's blowing. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And I, and I'm pulling between four and seven megabits upload easily. So that helps out with uploading videos to YouTube as well. Cause um, if I do a video on, on the iPhone, you can't upload. You can't upload via LTE. It's got to be hooked to Wi-Fi. So my home Wi-Fi, I push point sixty upload, not even a megabit upload. So having five megabits upload on NetBuddy, I can cut my upload time down from six hours to 30 minutes. The longest upload I had was, um, I don't remember which one it was. It was like a 2018 minute video, I think. And it took about an hour for me to get it. And that was at home. And I don't get a super great signal here. And my upload speeds are very, I mean, I they just, it's nothing stable at all ever and um the longest it's taken me it was like i think 18 minute video and it might have been the tablet review i don't remember but it was like an hour hour and a half something like that to get it to upload but even at work our upload speed on the wi-fi at work is horrible like the upload speed on my phone on the lte is so much better on cricket's lte where it usually y'all see if you in chat you know because we all post our speeds i'm lucky if i get three up and it takes twice as long on the Wi-Fi at work than it does with my LTE. Hey, John, is your is your mic on? I, I, I can't hear nothing from you. Is your, is your mic on? Yeah, it's probably it's probably off. That's what it is. All, All right, right. I, I hear you now. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell everybody that. At one o'clock, we're gonna go ahead and cut it off. So in about nine minutes, we're gonna cut, go ahead and cut it off so you can go live, bro. Um, everybody, subscribe to Lady Red, to Mill Hustles, and CV Tech. If you're not subscribed yet, CV Tech is gonna be going live here in just a little bit. I really want to hear his opinions and what he's got to say because he's really looks like he's really passionate tonight, and I haven't heard from him in a while. You know, going live stream on his own channel. Yeah, so. dude, man, I, I didn't get the invite last night, man, for that awesome live stream, you man. I forgot to get an invite, I know. dude. What do I do, man? You should have seen the train wreck of a live stream we did tonight. I had a ton of fun, but there's no way that video could stay on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> we had a freaking AR-15 on there, bro. Ah. Uh, yeah, and then the one I did, yeah, man. I'm sorry, dude. I thought you were snoozing. So I'm like, yeah. Nah. Nah, Dang. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even know, know that you was live until until later. And I was yeah. like, oh. yeah, because we went on. We went on the main Juan's channel. I didn't see you up there, so I was like, oh, well, I didn't see you up there. 
And then we went, in, and it happened like this. Like, they were like, Ming Huang's like, hey, let's go live on yours. I'm like, all right, all right. All right. You know. Yeah. It, it was yeah. a little bit congested, and it, it was too many people, too. I didn't really like that. I, I don't really like that format. I kind of like at least, you know, three, four people. But you know, it, any more than that, it's just like too much, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I didn't, I didn't have my phone with me, but I would have heard the, you know, the hangouts jingle, you know, if you know, that, that, that that's why I didn't know it because I, I didn't, I didn't have my phone near me at the time. Um, oh, one, one more announcement: Tana does tech. We're going to be doing a live stream uh, on his channel really, really soon. It's high, high quality, high production. He does his thing and he sets it all up and all that stuff. And it's going to be called Balling on a Budget. So Tanadus Tech usually has high-end devices, but he's gotten uh, LG Stylo 4 and some other uh, low, lower-end devices just for this particular live stream. And we're basically going to be talking about, you know, just using lower-end phones, you know. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Hey, uh, Mill Hustles, w w uh, when when do you get a day, man? Like like a day, because I know you wanted to do, to do that video we, that we discussed, but a lot of times nights ain't the best for me unless it's like really late. Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday is when I'm completely free for now. Sunday, well, Monday, and Tuesday. Sunday, Sunday. Sure. Monday and Tuesday, I might be working at my old uh, granite job, but. Okay, because I was wondering, like you know, uh, sometimes, sometimes during the during like early in the earlier in the morning, or like even like late afternoon, sometimes it's like the best time for me to for me to do that. Sometimes that's kind of why I was wondering. I didn't know. Yeah, we, we we can we can set something up. It, 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 the phone ain't going nowhere, so we you know nah. we can do it next week, week after, whenever. But it's definitely uh, a topic we should touch. Oh, definitely, definitely. Hmm. Speaking, oh, bro, you know what? I, I got to tell you something that happened to me today, bro. So I added a line to my AT&T account and got an S9 Plus, and I went and returned it. Oh, really? Because the they, t they told me completely wrong information about the bill. And also, there's a BOGO offer coming up that I'm going to try to get. So I just told them, look, just, yeah, I'm going to return it. Well, had it for literally eight hours. You know, I'm really hearing that unless you just want to use a stylus, that the S9 Plus is really no, no, no different than the S than the Galaxy Note 9. Yeah, it's not really that many uh, upgrades. It's not even that many upgrades from the Note 8. Yeah, because because I'm hearing everybody saying, you know, well, if you got a Galaxy Note, a, a, a Galaxy S9 Plus, unless you just got out of the stylus, there's not much of a difference. Because I mean, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, you know. What I mean, I, oh, also, get, I, I have a shirt, and I had you in mind about it. I finally came up with it. <laughs> you know how people say, um, I don't know, all blue, everything, all black, everything, all gold, everything, all that, uh -huh. whatever. I have a shirt, and I'm just trying to design it. I don't have a design yet. It's called All Red Every Phone. Oh yeah, All Red Everything. I'll read every phone. And every phone needs to, every phone needs to have a red option. I don't care what they every phone needs to have a red option. Oh yeah. I wish there was a red um essential phone. Yeah, I'm still gonna get I'm still gonna get one of them deep uh, red deep, deep brand skins for my essential. I saw an alternative, and sorry if I'm being loud, y'all. This orange soda is, is kicking right now. Oh, yeah, but I bet. There's another uh, company, I forgot the name of it, that does skins as well, except uh, watching their video, their skins seem to be much easier to apply than D-Brand and just as good quality. Mm, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So I spammed uh, Lady Red's uh, link there in the chat. So go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for Mill Hustles and then CB Tech. But yeah. So uh, any questions, guys? Let me know. And also Tech Rants, thank you for that 99 cents donation baller alert right there. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh man. 
Tanner in the house. Tanner, I, we we was wild tonight, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I just still don't know about this live stream title. I don't, I don't know because it, it's something that it's something really. It, it, it it's not a, it's not a good title. I mean, it's not it's not like clickbaity, nothing like that. It's really something that if thing it's if things don't change, some things is gonna be. I I don't I don't know. So um, it's just kind of giving everybody a heads up. In the next three to four months. There we go. Big John Tech reviews. It's called Slick Raps. Slick Raps. Yeah. But someone said they're better quality. D, D brand is better quality. But Slick Raps have solid colors. Everything D brand has like a pattern. Here's Mill Hustle's channels, guys. But yeah, man. I mean, if it's on your heart, bro, and if it's on your chest, just throw it out there, I guess, man. It's your channels, YouTube. Yeah, I mean it. Nowadays, it's more like it's everybody else's too because you know we can't really do what we want to do or say what we want to say. But you know, and that's Mill Hustles right there. See, well, I got a deal for you, bro. It's 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 it's, it's really about, about about the fate of my channel. Okay, well then people need to know. Um, there's a deal going on at Boost Mobile that I just put a video out. The LG G6 Silver at Boost Mobile is $270, which is an excellent deal. Yeah, it is. It is all, more than half off, and I think you can even get an additional 20% off if you use the coupon code. I'm not sure, but it's already over half off. So I didn't know that the Boost Mobile sold the, mo sold, 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 sold the LG G6. It looks like they just started. I mean, that's I was, I was going back and forth between the P20 Lite and... The G6, but the thing about the G6 is I want the solid black. Mm. But What's going it's, on, it's, hey boy. Hey boy, it's an online exclusive. That could be your new daily driver CV if you ever got that, man. I, I'm just not an LG. I'm not, I'm not an LG person. It's not LG. I'm just, I'm just not LG. True. Did the G6 come out the same year as the V20 or V30? God, I don't know. I know the V20 came out in December, I think of 2016. And I'm not sure when the V30 came out. I'm guessing a year later. All right, I believe guys. V20 and G6 were the same year. Okay. It's one o'clock, bro. Let's let's do it. I want to see CV Tech go live. Oh man. It's one o'clock. So you ready, bro? It, it'd be a few minutes, but yeah. Okay, so to get set up and everything. All right, thanks guys for joining in. I didn't really want to be live too long tonight, anyways. I just wanted to come up here, so I'm glad TV Tech wants to go live, anyways. I'm glad. <laughs> so it's one I, of the more. I feel like I've been live. I feel like I've been live like the whole for past three days, like yeah. forever. So I'm ready yeah. to be. I'm ready to watch. Yeah, okay, I want to yeah. watch. It's one. It's one a.m. So I don't know how many people will join in, but. It's all good. Plus, it's Monday night, and it's, well, it's actually now, actually right now, no, it's Tuesday, Tuesday, whatever, whatever day. I, I can't even get a clear mind right now. What day it is? It's Wednesday here. So, all right, let's watch us some good old CV Tech. All right, I got you in the Discord when you go live. All right, cool, man. All right, bye, everybody.